So let's see what the cheapest and most efficient Kerbal Rescue Craft capable of going... I guess, are we gonna make it capable of going to the moon in Mimis? Maybe... Maybe we should do one thing at a time. Okay. Command pod. Um, or lander can. I think I like the lander can better. There's no particular reason to prefer the command pod, is there? We're going to need to put a controller on top anyway. Or, you know, somewhere anyway. Maybe if we're going to go farther... Oh, I still have the shielded docking port. God, I gotta unlock that sometime. I guess maybe we'd want to get rid of the nose cone on the way down? I don't know. So what we're saying, we were saying... Terrier and Spark, huh? Okay, well let's see. That's sort of nifty. Center mass is there. Pondering this. I'm wondering whether we need the RCS blocks or not. Probably not. But it's sort of nicer to have them. Let me just see what effect they have on the Delta V. Ooh, wow, a 200 Delta V. And that's not including whether we dump the mop propellant or not. Am I going to dock? Uh, probably not. I mean, the question is whether we're going to use this as the vehicle to uh, bring... Uh, bring what's-his-face back. Bob. Is it safe to put the parachute on top? I feel like the atmosphere's got to try and burn it up. I haven't tried this sort of thing before. Would the capsule survive re-entry if we just had a flat surface like this? Well, this is heavier, but I feel safer with it. And you know what? Maybe we can bring them down nicely. I mean, they've been on a long trip and tough. I'm wondering what to do about the space here, and I think maybe we will land them safely and kindly. So I think that's probably a way to go. So, uh, we want the Reliant? The Reliant doesn't have Gimbal, though. I think I like the Swivel better just for Gimbal. Solar panels? Yeah. So, already looking overkill? Yeah, you're right. Uh, we're past your uh, value, but uh, we're, we're looking to potentially uh, bring back a Kerbal from Minmus as well, so... Um, we might actually be short for that. Well, let's... Uh, you guys insist that uh, fins are a good thing. I'm not too thrilled with the idea, but... Let's make a very traditional looking rocket. Reliant has more sea level thrust. Okay, well, we'll go with Reliant, but the question is also whether uh, it's going to have Vacuum ISP. I mean, we're looking at Vacuum ISP here, obviously this is better. And, you know, going through the atmosphere doesn't take too long to get to that Vacuum ISP. But, yeah, okay. Maybe we should just have a SRB at the bottom, too. But then... Scope creep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm sort of curious to see how this is going to work out. Okay, uh, let me action group the solar panels. And I'm wondering whether, whether this is actually going to survive more than anything else. Because we don't have much gimbal, we don't have a reaction wheel. I don't think we're going to get torque from the capsule without anybody inside, I'm not sure. Let's have the engines ignite immediately. We'll call this Rescue 1. Now let's make sure we know the orbit that we're aiming for. 
Oh, yeah, struts near a small decoupler, probably. Obviously not quite the rocket I would normally design, because I like to have a lot of torque and a lot of gimbal. Well, it's equatorial 87 by 77. We're probably going to want to go above it rather than below it. Let's wait till he's fairly close, but we'll want him... We'll want him behind, and we'll go, uh, we'll go into the higher orbit ahead of him. Okay, that should do. This barely has enough Delta V to get to, uh... Yeah, I don't know if it's... Maybe we should just make it cheap. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll just go with this. I don't want to waste any time now. Okay, uh, struts and then we'll go. Reaction wheel on the second stage. There, that's better. Okay, make sure there's no Kerbal in. And now let's go. I'll fix the staging on the pad. We'll see how much Delta V is left in LKO. Oh, you mean uh, in order... Oh, uh, yeah, for uh, transit. Well, we're gonna have to ditch the second stage anyway, probably. Maybe. Okay, here we go. Music title doesn't change? Okay, well, let's... I'll restart SMG quickly. It does that sometimes. There we go. 2k Delta V remaining after LKO? Well, that's assuming I don't flip over, which, you know, we'll see. And I'm not particularly good at uh, my trajectories, let's face it. I'm betting I expend the entire second stage to get to curb and orbit. Uh, I'm having trouble uh, keeping on 90 here. I really don't feel like it can push it to 90 again. We'll have to wait until we get higher up before I try that. It's 2, uh, 2 a.m. where you are. Oh dear. Well, that's pushing it. Okay, here we go. I really need some more dramatic music in the OC Remix uh, playlist. Uh oh. Come on. Get, get there. Get there. Come on. There we go. Um, uh, come on. What's on the program? We're currently rescuing a Kerbal because I can't afford to actually hire more Kerbals and we need some more scientists. I don't know whether the Kerbal we're going to rescue is a scientist or not, but, well, what else can we do? I think this stage is a bit underpowered. This stage is quite underpowered. This isn't a particularly good rocket. Yeah, this is pretty horrible. Yeah, I'm not satisfied with this. I think... I think I'm gonna abort. I don't think I... I don't think we're gonna get anywhere like this. Okay, I'm aborting. We need a better... this this is not good enough. We can leave him in orbit if he isn't and rescue someone else. Steeper trajectory next time. Let's just slap some boosters on. Maybe that's the key. I'm going to try and bring back the LV-909 as well. We'll see. That was your next suggestion. I knew you'd approve of boosters. Less weight, not more boosters. Uh... 
You want to go with the ant method? We could go the ant method. This is not obvious I'm lightening the load here so that we can bring back all the stuff. Okay, no space is hard. That's the most annoying thing when people keep repeating that. As if it is some sort of deep insight. Yeah, my response, my thoughts on the failed Falcon 9 launch are that uh, eventually a launch is going to fail. It's uh, sort of surprising it took this long and, you know, I think they'll learn a lot from it and it's a good thing they learn all that stuff now rather than when they have to launch crew on it. So, you know, consider it uh, positive. Well, uh, Zephyrin, Atlas V is the product of a long line of different atlases, right? And the engine it uses was used on other vehicles as well. So it's not like it's not like it was the first one that ever used those engines. Yeah, Atlas V, uh, you have to take into account all the other developments that led to Atlas V. Falcon 9 is a completely new sort of thing. Though I guess you could say, well, its engines are much upgraded from the Falcon 1, so... Yeah, Merlin wasn't very good. Uh, the earlier versions, like the ones on, yeah, the the one C and all, were not particularly good good engines. And though lightweight, good thrust weight ratio, but uh, the one D is definitely uh, above above par sort of thing. Yeah, rockets sometimes explode. Actually, rockets, you know. They always have explosions going on, it's just that they're usually controlled, right? That's the that's the other cliche, I suppose. Why did I keep the mod propeller? Eek. Oh. Aww. Yeah, to break apart, huh? Okay. Okay, let me recover those pieces and design something a little bit better this time. We are going to skip Minmus. Let's just do this as a rescue vehicle. And a very simple rescue vehicle. Maybe one ant one ant engine is a little bit underwhelming, but but we can do we can do better. It's best to use these. But they can be radially mounted. Oh, come on. There we go. Do I actually need fuel lines here? That's a little bit tight. Oh yeah, I do. Eight minutes to burn that much? I don't know. Ah, oh, that's better. The question is whether the bomb of this is safe, and I guess we're going to risk our rescuee on that question. Looks a bit odd. We need solar panels. Okay, let's call this rescue 1A. Just for 1-A. Okay. Spin on a heat shield for safety? It'd make it heavier. I guess, maybe. We don't want to rescue a Kerbal and then not have the Kerbal be rescued, I suppose. <laughs> Cheaper fins. 600. Which ones are cheaper? Good question. Well, definitely not the basic fin. They can't turn. That winglet doesn't turn either. We need something that actually controls the craft. I don't think there's anything cheaper. Tail fin is the same.
I do like the tailfin better. Oh, what's the mass? Ah, the other one's mass is less. I knew there was a reason I picked this one. They have poor surface control. Yeah. I like those other ones better, but I guess we'll uh, go with the winglet instead of it. The tail fin is too expensive. Uh, not too expensive, too heavy. Okay. But it's heavier, so we just lost some Delta V there. Three fins are enough unless the Kerbal Universe has four spatial dimensions. Um, I'm gonna go with four. <laughs> Why didn't I dump the mono propellants? Yeah, if uh, one of the fins is occluded from the airflow, it would be bad, yeah. If there's only three. Yeah, Mikko, I'm, I'm going with a steeper trajectory. I couldn't even control the trajectory last time. Last time I had so little control, there was no way I could make it steeper. This is very much steeper. Way steeper. And, in fact, probably too steep. No, last time I had very little control over the craft. That was not a happy camper. Oh, where is our target now? Ah, he's moved. We should probably... I guess we'll go into a lower orbit then, though it's gonna be tight. I guess I'll shut off there. We need to catch up with him. Uh, there's so much to burn. I don't think I can do anything. I still have to go into a higher orbit. Oh well. Continuing. I'm gonna make a tangency on this side. We've got extra fuel, so we might as well boost high this time. You just remember, did I set Bob to research back at Mimus? Yeah, we did. He was researching. Okay, well, here we go on the little engines. Is this the first time I'm bringing a Kerbal back in point, uh, 1.0.4? 1, 1. Don't remember. Well, it's a cute little fella. Except for the one problem that we have our mod propellant that we don't need. That's that's a flaw. Okay. Uh, it's a bad orbit. Let's get those solar panels out so we don't lose electric charge during the interim. Really? Music tile messed up? Hold on. Stupid thing. There we go. Let me do some test burns to see. Yeah, All right. If we can adjust out of it. Oh, that's more. Got some inclination? Yeah. We'll fix inclination at the ascending node. Seems like I should be doing something here. Oh, okay, right. Good. I forget ant engines. Really tiny. Okay, zero kilometers sounds like a good separation to me. Uh, but we can't take it from out here because I forgot to slap on a Kerbal Engineer thingy on it. 
So there's Adcan's pod, and we're hoping that Adcan is a scientist. Tough to say. Actually, it's not tough to say, because I think their names determine whether they're a scientist, engineer, or pilot. I wonder what the actual rule is, what the algorithm is to uh, turn their name into a role. Wow, we've got a lot to burn here, and we've only got ant engines to do it. Come on, here we go. <laughs> no superstition involved. Uh. Wonder how crossing your fingers got started as a indicator that you're hoping for something. Yeah, rescue mission. I think we're doing this a little bit too soon. Yep. Yeah, and this time I wasn't the one who stranded him there. This is true, yes, yes. Well, in the save there have been a lot of rescues and there will be even more. We've got tourists to rescue. That's, that's like my driving thing. That's my ultimate goal in this, is to uh, rescue a bunch of tourists. It's... Uh, Quite amazing turn of events. I'm just gonna be patient at this point. As is typical, I, I don't like to do a lot of EVAing, so I'm gonna wait until I'm about five meters away. Could I imagine being a tourist stuck on Titan? Nope. We are lacking sufficient data on Titan for me to imagine that. Okay, I think I guess I guess I can be satisfied with this distance. Okay, let's kill all velocity and then we'll have a... Uh, come on, where is the ve vector? Vector? Vector, vector, vector. Okay, well, I guess uh, it was around here when I turned. There we go. Okay. Let's go over to Alcan Spawn, Alcan EVA. And let me make this clear, you better be good at science. Okay, all in. It would be fine as long as you had a good view of Saturn. Well, that's a spirit. Okay, well, let's uh, move away from that pod. Should we consider the new squad mod stock? That's a good question. I haven't played around with it. I thought about it. I thought about adding adding it to this uh, this install, but I didn't I didn't know that either. I didn't know whether we could consider it stock or not. It's technically a mod, so I guess not. Okay, I think I'm gonna jump back to the space uh, space center in order to time warp until. Well, no, it's it's close enough to daylight. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to do a very gentle descent for our new Kerbal, so let me just go around and do that. I guess it's good enough. There. We know an awful lot about Titan. We even have a picture from the surface. What? I have a very vivid imagination, Zephyrin. <laughs> I, need, I need data. I need data to support that vivid imagination. Otherwise, I'll be imagining all sorts of crap. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I bring it to 35 how it will do. That's a pretty standard one for old aerodynamics, but not for new aerodynamics. Yep, I have tourists stuck on lathe, and the air on Titan is mostly nitrogen, but there is no free oxygen. Yeah, I guess getting stuck there would be a pain in that particular case, depending on how much oxygen you had brought along. So, are you saying that we should do a version of The Martian where somebody's stuck on Titan as a tourist? Is that a, is that a book coming up that we're looking at here? I guess that's a fair question. If there was going to be another sort of Martian-like thing, where would you want people to get stuck? Would Titan be the number one choice for where people get stuck and need rescuing from?
Or would there be a better body in the solar system to go with? Not Venus. Let's 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 at least give them a chance. Triton. Well, that's pretty far out. Neptune. That's a tough one. Ganymede. I don't know much about Ganymede. A submarine on Europa. Ouch. Anyway, somebody's, they've already done a movie on Europa, so... Who? Well, it took some of our later on the way up, I think. But uh, let's see if it does anything on the way down. Or maybe it was just set there and uh, I didn't uh, notice the actual fraction. Oh, it's taking up off some uh, blader, yeah. It is taking off some of blader. You really enjoyed the movie? Europa? Report? Europa Report, right? Having uh, molten through the ice, the nuclear reactor fails and has to be tossed away. The crew sur tries to survive on a diet of local fish, which annoys the intelligent jellyfishes. Just jellyfish. Uh, jellyfish is plural, I believe, that inhabit the ocean. Intelligent jellyfish. Scary thought. Why does it always have to be a horror film? That's a creature feature right there. See, Martian, he didn't have to deal with any uh, local wildlife like that. Or, uh, actually not li wildlife, uh, local civilization, I suppose. No, it's not a bad story. Uh, it's a very common story. I'm sure people are... People like that sort of thing. Uh, what the effect of uh, starting off a list of later? Yeah, it uh, reduces the mass. Uh... Yeah, so uh, it means that we had to lift off less mass on takeoff. Uh, so yeah, it was better to dump the ablator if we're not going to use it. it. Looks like we're going to be landing a bit short. Well, well, a lot short. At least we won't be hitting the mountains. Okay, well, we're, uh, we're going to be pretty close to the coast, but I think we're going to be ending up in the water. Yeah, I don't think uh, any ablator was necessary either. Probably didn't need it. But now here's the here's the suspense. Well, I want to know whether Adkan is a scientist or not. Wow, we, we slowed down quite a lot already. This thing has a lot of drag. Okay, I guess we'll go with the parachute now. Oh, we can already see this in map view? What, what can we see in map view? Oh, I uh, like it, like this. Ah, uh, he's a pilot. He's a pilot. We don't need a pilot. Stupid ad can. Okay, full parachute deployment. Pretty safe speeds. Probably don't need to use thrust to slow down. You got 20 crew on your roster now, still haven't hired a single one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, weren't uh, you, were you the one who, you, you were probably the one who gave me the idea, right? Isn't there a stock market to exchange kerbals? Well, there's a high demand for scientists now. You should be able to hire them. They should already come with some experience, maybe, and you, uh, those those cost more to hire and the ones with less experience cost less to hire. Something like that. Yeah, the, the cost of hiring should be based on their experience and they, they shouldn't all start uh, raw maybe. Maybe uh, the, the inexperienced ones are cheaper to hire, that sort of thing. There might be need for layoffs in my space program. Yeah, but I don't get money back for Leos, do I, Mitko? I mean... We have plenty of room. If I lay off Kerbals, I don't get the money back. Maybe we should just hire Edis here. Or Maya. Okay, uh, maybe... Shall we hire Maya? Maya is sort of a reference to, uh, what you might call it, Red Mars, isn't it? 
Okay, I guess we'll hire Maya. See, wait a minute. Uh, it said the next hire is 216,000. It didn't take 216,000. It didn't take 216,000. It only took, what, uh, maybe 80,000, 100,000-ish? I didn't really pay attention exactly. But yeah, it, it didn't give the right number. It's, this is not the right number. Hmm. Anyway, we'll keep it to this for now.